Welcome to Moviegasm.com, where I'm going to be bringing you the latest and upcoming movie news and theories. And today we're going to be talking about Deadpool 3. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex. Oh! Oh! I promise this gets worse for you, big boy! So, Deadpool 3, the long-awaited and anticipated sequel to the previously Fox-owned Deadpool 2. This is a project that many fans have been waiting for, but also very afraid of, considering that this will be under Disney's eyes and production with Marvel Studios. Thankfully, Deadpool 3 was confirmed to receive an R rating, and Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige promises that the tone of Deadpool 3 will remain the same, so that at least gives fans something to be hopeful for. And before we started getting any any information about Deadpool 3, one of the first things we received was an announcement that Hugh Jackman will return to play his iconic Wolverine in the upcoming film. What actually happens in our film is... Before this announcement, many fans speculated that he would return to the role since he announced a few years ago that he would no longer be playing Wolverine and that he would be retiring from the superhero genre in general. He wanted to focus on his stage career, so it was kind of up in the air whether or not he would return. So that being said, it was really amazing to get official confirmation from Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman that he'd be returning. And it wouldn't be much longer until some leaks started to come out. We got our first look at Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in Deadpool 3, and this time he's rocking the iconic colors from his original comic books and the animated series. And based on these images, there's still no mask, so we don't know as of right now if we're going to be seeing his iconic helm, so we'll have to wait for more official news. But there's some amazing fan pictures of him in the helmet, and it just looks really amazing. A lot of people talked about him not having sleeves, and that's a bit of a debate online right now, but either way, it's just amazing to see him back, especially in these colors. We even got a set video that was leaked showing a fight scene between Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm personally very excited to see what happens with Hugh Jackman back in the role, especially throughout the Deadpool film the character himself has been referencing Hugh Jackman and Wolverine, so, so it was always a dream to see them come together on screen, especially since the last time we saw them, it didn't go too well. If you've made it this far in the video and you enjoy what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to Moviegasm.com for more videos like this, as well as upcoming trailers and features. Okay, now for my favorite fan theory going on right now, this concerns Kidpool and the Deadpool core. Similar to Spider-Man and his Spider-Verse crew, for those who don't know, Deadpool does have a group with different Deadpools within the multiverse, and one of them includes Kidpool, a younger version of Wade. And what's really exciting is that the fan cast right now is actually pretty perfect. Walker Skolbell, who played a younger version of Ryan Reynolds' character in the Netflix film The Adam Project is currently being fan casted to play Kidpool. This would be perfect since the actor captures the essence of a young Ryan Reynolds and he has a bit of a potty mouth. A fun cool fact is that shockingly he memorized the entire Deadpool script in the past. Ryan Reynolds even liked a tweet talking about Walker Scoble playing Kidpool. Now with the current strikes going on right now it's hard to place exactly when this film will release since everything's getting pushed back so we have no idea what more needs to be done production wise but if Walker Scoble is not currently involved in the project when filming does resume eventually this could be a perfect time to actually include him in the project, even if it's just a cameo. So as always, we're going to have to wait to see how things turn out, but I'm very excited for the future of this film and the future possibilities that can come from this. I just hope that at its core, this is still a Deadpool film and that nothing is lost. All right, guys, with that said, please make sure to let movie guys know your thoughts and comments down below concerning Deadpool 3 and any predictions or theories you may have. My name is Matthew V. Haynes, and you can check out my personal channel linked in the end screens and in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.